What is going on guys? It is the real KJ3 back again with another video and today I will be showing you guys how to unlock the frame rate on Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for PC. Now, before I get started, I must note that this is only for Nvidia GPUs only. My personal rig has a GTX 1070 in it and from uh, gameplay on high and ultra settings I couldn't budge 60 frames a second. When I could, it was mostly on like cutscenes and um, on Crash One, the uh, the Tauna cutscenes, or the bonus rounds, so to speak. But I could never really reach uh, anything anything past 60 frames because of that lock on it. And I found a quick and very easy way to uh, to unlock it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is open up Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy and make sure that the vertical sync is on. Now I've already done that so I'm not going to do it again, that'd just be wasting time. And the next thing you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to exit out, make sure it's all closed out, and you're going to want to right click on your desktop, hit NVIDIA control panel, and wait for it to open. And then on the left hand side here on the second setting you're going to go to manage 3D settings and you should be presented with this screen here where it says global settings and program settings. You're going to go ahead and hit program settings, uh, it might take a minute here. Now, by the number one, it will say select program to customize. You're going to hit the drop down, and you could either search for uh, Crash Bandicoot. If you can't find it, go ahead and hit the add button, and then scroll down until you find it, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. And if you can't find it, you can just go ahead and hit browse and then get it manually. So I'm going to go ahead and select, or, uh, and hit add selected program. All right, and then you're going to scroll all the way down until you find vertical sync, and the setting that it will be on is use global setting. So what you're going to want to do is click on that, hit off, and then hit apply, and let that do its thing. And then once it's highlighted in black, you are all set. So once you go ahead and run the game, you will be surpassing 60 frames a second. So I hope you guys learned a thing or two in the video. If you have any questions or have any errors pop up or anything, feel free to let me know in the comments. So uh, that'll do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching.